Now, you probably know the name Dan Siegel. He's one of the giants in the field of interpersonal neurobiology. And Dan came up with a lovely hand model of the human brain. So let's kind of go through the hand model of the brain. And this can be useful for you to understand, but at times it might be useful for you to actually share this with your client. The wrist, the forearm coming up to here is like your spinal cord. And right here at the, uh, the end of the wrist is like the base of your skull. And here, the bottom of your palm, this is like the reptile brain, the life support system of the brain. So, you know, if the rest of your brain is wiped out through, say, for example, a stroke or a car accident, this life support part of your brain, the reptile brain, can still keep your body alive, can still keep all your organs functioning and your breath and your heart and so forth. And this is where a lot of autonomic nervous system operates and stems from this reptile brain. Now, above the reptile brain is the mammalian brain, often called the limbic brain or the emotional brain. So reptiles, they've got the fight or flight response or they've got the freeze, shut down, flop and drop response, but they don't really have anything that is even remotely close to the, the complex emotional states that we see in mammals. And the limbic brain has many different parts to it, but two in particular that we'll be looking at in this course are the amygdala and the hippocampus. Now, don't worry about memorizing those terms for now. We will revisit them later. But this kind of is the, the middle brain, the limbic brain, the mammalian brain, basically responsible for emotions. Now, on top of the limbic mammalian emotional brain, you've got the cerebral cortex, the thinking cap of the brain. The cerebral cortex is much thicker in mammals, but especially so in primates, and particularly so in human beings, more so than any other primate. And this cerebral cortex, the thinking part of the brain responsible for consciousness and cognition. And right at the front of the cerebral cortex, you have the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that's right up here at the front of your forehead, above your eyes, and particularly important to us is the medial prefrontal cortex, this bit in the middle right at the front, this bit up here. This plays a very important role in mindfulness and awareness. So let's just go through it again. You've got your spinal cord, you've got your reptile brain, underneath your cerebral cortex, you've got your mammalian brain with the amygdala, the hippocampus responsible for emotions, and then you've got your cerebral cortex, your thinking cap of the brain on top and the medial prefrontal cortex right here in the center at the front right there.